Recently we learned that Ken Burns was doing a documentary on the Roosevelts and one of the questions we asked is if there was any connection between the Roosevelts and of course Central and Mount Pleasant. We discovered that Mrs. Roosevelt had visited CMU in February of 1955 and so we began to look through our sources to see what kinds of information we had about that. So lo and behold we made a call to the Alumni Association and asked if they knew someone and the answer was of course, Clarence Tuma. It was one day in my life that I wouldn't have ever expected, but uh, my boss, R.J. Lichtenfeld, told me about, uh, oh, I was in the morning. I was going to escort Mrs. Roosevelt. And I said, oh, yeah, the president's wife. And I said, what are you talking about, of course? And he told me she was coming to town for a program. There were no state troopers, no policemen, no nothing. It was just Clarence Tuma with Mrs. Elnor, I guess I was picked to do it because I was a 245-pound tackle at Central Michigan University. Um, I was honored, there's no question I was honored because that's a one-in-a-lifetime situation. I wanted to say more things about her, her husband. I said to her, the troops loved your husband very much. And uh, she said, well, were you in the service? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, uh, upon his death, I'll always remember all my life is that we were moving up in, in Belgium. The tanks in front of us stopped, and they all stopped at one time. And evidently, by radio, the news came to them that the president had passed away. And uh, of course, we had to stop because we were behind him and they, turret came open and one of the soldiers yelled out, the president has passed away. Well, uh, it was a very traumatic moment during the service uh, uh, because actually, if you want to believe this or not, is that the troops were all crying. I think they uh, all felt like we, I did, is that the, uh, we wanted to win this war, we wanted to win it for him. And you know, it's, uh, when you think of it today, there would have been cameras and there would have been flashes and you no, know, there was just Mrs. Roosevelt and I going down those stairwell. And, uh, um, and that's the way it was. It, it was just pure and simple security, none, none needed. And uh, crazy old Tuma was her, her security. But it was like uh, saying goodbye to my mother, I think. Except my mother I probably would have hugged. If I thought I was gonna have to put something on tape, I would have asked her 1,400 questions right then. <laughs> I'm Frank Bowles, and the Clark Historical Library is a CMU point of pride.